Thank you. Well, first of all, I always, always acknowledge my Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, also, I want to acknowledge my wife, Julie, who's here with me. And also, uh, Team Herschel, because uh, we're in all this together, so all you being here is a part of this. So I want to thank you all, because uh, let's acknowledge us all. And I, you know, I, if this is game day, they told me. Saturday. So I brought something, and Senator left so fast last night that I didn't get a chance to give it to him. But I got a uh, Team Biden t-shirt. You know, 96. Oh, uh, no, it's a good shirt. It's a good shirt. Yes, but but I want to first of all I want to just, I want to tell you guys and thank you guys for getting out doing what you're doing right now because this is about America, Amen. this is about this country. So I want to thank you guys and remind everyone about early voting. Early voting is about to start. So I'm gonna tell you this little story here. You know I don't know if you heard the story about these two older gentlemen that love baseball. You know right now the playoff is going on. They love baseball. And as uh, one of them was getting up in age, and he was getting ready to leave and go meet his maker, he was laying in a hospital bed, and the oven came in to him and said, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? He said, what can I do for you? He said, can you let me know if there's baseball in heaven? Aww. And the guy thought that was a strange request, and he said, if I can, I will. A couple of days, the guy passed away, and a couple of days later, on a bright sunny day like today, uh, this clouds start coming towards the guys he was working in his backyard and he knew that it had to be his friend that left this world And he ran up to this cloud and he said uh, Is that baseball in heaven? Is that baseball in heaven? And the voice from this cloud said well, I got some good and bad news. Said, I don't care about that. Is that baseball in heaven? The voice said you yeah, well the good news is there's baseball in heaven. The guy go. Yes Said the bad news is you're pitching tomorrow <laughs> And the only reason I tell you that is, guys, right now, we can't wait anymore. Amen. Right now, we can't wait anymore. Amen. We have to step up right now, because right now, we see what's going on in this country. Amen. And we got to get leaders in this country that's going to stand up for America, that's going to stand up for Georgians, that's going to stand up for our military, that's going to stand up for our men and women in blue, that's going to stand up for our kids. Amen. And the reason I say that is, we have a problem. Our problems stem from right now, you know, we're a little bit older. We're a little bit older, but as uh, I watch the news sometimes, I get upset because I see that they're going to our kids in school. Yeah. Yeah. They're bringing wokeness in our schoolhouse. And they're trying to teach our kids to hate themselves because of their skin color. Yeah. And last night, you know, we mentioned uh, my opponent, and he mentioned the church he's in. And the man of the church he's in used to talk about it's not the color of your skin, but the content of your character. Yes. And we need to get back to that. Yes. We need to get back to that because we're not just black, white, yellow, brown. We're Americans. Yes. And I think that's what we need to get back to. And last night, my opponent meant that, you know, he said that he support our men and women in blue. And I don't know if you've seen it, but right now, our police this is one of the toughest times for them to do their job because we have emboldened criminals to be think they're better than our officers and we have to get behind our men and women in blue we have to get behind our men and women in blue because the statistics right now is we've had so many officers killed through ambush that shows no respect and we have leaders in Washington that has no respect for our law enforcement. How do you think the citizen gonna do? So we have to stay, step up. We have to wake up. And then we're at the brink of war. Y'all may not know this. You don't think our, all these foreign leaders are not watching us. They're watching us. And you know, they always stand in front of you and use the speech. There's peace through strength. Uh, peace through strength, they're 100% correct. But our strength is our United States military. Amen. Our strength is our United States military. And right now, we're making our military woke. 
We're making our military woke. And I said, China, Iran, and Russia are not talking about pronouns. They're talking about war. And yet, we have to wake up. And it comes November. It is time for us to put leaders in Washington out of, not afraid to talk the truth. You know, he, 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 he well, he mentioned the truth. And I said, guys, we can talk the truth. The truth is, you said you were going to Washington to represent us. You went to Washington and you voted with Joe Biden 96 percent of the time. You said you were going to speak for the women. You put me in the women's sports. You said you were going to back the blue, but you call them thugs and bullies. You said that you were going to take Black Lives Matter. You believe in abortion on demand. And I said, my thing is, I said, I'm not the politician, and I mentioned it last night for those of you who feel they're taking a chance on a non-politician like myself, think about the damage that Senator why not Joe Biden would do if we gave him six more years. Can we take six more years of this? Can we take six more years of this? And I said, so what we got to do? We got to stand up. So I want to say it's time for us to stand up, wake up, and get up. It doesn't matter about your color. It doesn't matter about what you're doing. What it matters about, we got to become American. We've got to love this country, love the Constitution, and fight together. Together we stand, divided we fall. God is a good God. Thank you, guys. Get out and do what you got to do. God bless you guys. Thank you now. Thank you.